Um, I remember getting um, comic books when I was a kid up the street from here uh, at Laux here in Palmyra. And uh, they would have two spinner racks. And on the spinner racks, they would have all different types of, uh, of books. Uh, and I wasn't allowed to normally get a superhero book. So I got like Mighty Mouses and, and Mickey Mouses and, and um, you know, the gold key uh, kids books and the TV tie-ins. But I remember the very first Batman I ever got. And, um, and I checked and it was from 1966. And, um, and it's pretty cool because it had these skeleton men on the cover. And, uh, and it was pretty cool that my parents actually allowed me to go ahead and buy this. So I remember that one. And then I also remember getting a Doctor Strange book in Strange Tales. Um, and, um, and later on I figured out that it was actually drawn by Dan Atkins who, who now lives in, in Reading, Pennsylvania. And so it's kind of cool thinking that you're reading a book that somebody drew that uh, is only 30 miles away. Um, so those are the two books I remember you know, the, from earliest times. Um, and then I also remember um, that I started collecting, um, actually collecting books, uh, like 1973. Well, there's a difference between reading comic books and, and collecting comic books I, I figured out later on. Um, you know, when you're a kid, you read comic books, you know, your neighbor gives you one, your parents buy you one, you read it. You put it aside, if you ever see it again, cool, if not, it's no big deal. But you know, when you start collecting comic books, they're yours. And, and what it comes down to is it's something that you're going to keep for either a long time or your entire life. And, uh, and that's what I have customers that do now, is they collect com comic books. I have readers, and you can tell who the readers are. Those are the guys who go ahead and, and sell the stuff back to me for cheap. I started collecting in like 1973. Um, we had moved to Georgia, and we had bought a house, and in the house, in this closet, was this box of comic books. And, uh, and my uh, cousin lived 20, 30 miles away, and they had come over to help us move stuff in. So when the box was pulled out, my, my, my cousin uh, Dave was there. And so to be nice, I had to go ahead and split the box with him. So I got uh, DC war books like Sergeant Rock, uh, you know, in our army at war. And I remember that he got our fighting forces, which would have had the losers in it. And it irritates me to this day that I couldn't keep the entire box. Um, but luckily I got the good stuff anyway. Because when you look at the artists and everything else, Russ Heath, was, who's, who's still my favorite artist, did Sergeant Rock and our Army at War. So I actually kept those books, and I've had those books since then. Um, in my own collection, which I don't actually have a collection any longer, but I just never sold it away. Uh, I still have the books that I got, you know, in 1973 in Georgia. And that's when I started actually collecting. And, and for me, that meant going down to the local drugstore every week or so, whenever you had money, and, and getting the new issues. At the time, my parents didn't uh, still allow me to go ahead and read superhero books, so I was allowed to, and it never made sense to me, I was allowed to go ahead and buy war and western, so I guess that was, you know, uh, better than um, superhero books. So I would go ahead and get Sergeant Fury and uh, Combat Kelly and, and Deadly Doesn't. I would get the Outlaw Kid, I would get Two Gun Kid, I would get Rawhide Kid, um, and I could even go ahead and get like Tomb Dracula, but I could not get Amazing Spider-Man at the time. Uh, and it wasn't until like 1976 I remember getting like my very first superhero book without my parents throwing a fit about it and that was like Amazing Spider-Man number 142 or something like that. And I just didn't go ahead and ask for permission from that point on. I just kept on buying on figuring that, you know, hey, I got away with it once, I'll just keep on going. And I haven't stopped since. <laughs>